Hey guys, Buckskin Dave here. So this is going to be a little different for you. I'm making some sausage here. I've got some buffalo meat here. I'm going to turn into sausage and I got some elk meat, um, which I'll probably do tomorrow. So if you're interested in how I make sausage, then you might watch this for a few minutes and kind of get an idea. Um, I make Italian sausage and, uh, I guess that works out pretty good since I'm Italian. And I love Italian sausage. I like putting it in the casings so I can put it in sauce and stuff like that. Make sausage sandwiches. Yeah. Anyway, so hang around. I'm going to start cutting up some meat here. I got my grinder set up. And then I got a sausage stuffer uh, that I'll be using too. So stand by. Grab a cup of coffee because this is going to take a while. I gotta chunk this meat up. Come across a piece of elk, so I think nice about sausage, uh, and you can make it out of some kind of meat. But sometimes you come across a piece of other meat, you can just cut it up, put it in there, kid. Time you season it and all. Beauty of sausage, you can make sausage out of just about anything. I've never been a big fan of bear meat, but it makes pretty good sausage. So I'm gonna get this cut up and then I got I mix mine 50 50 with pork. Okay, I got this pork butt here. And it's still a little frozen. But I'm cutting that up in this one here. So I can make them real close to 50% weight to weight or volume to volume. And this pork butt has the bone in it. Which, I don't know, it doesn't matter. But it just makes it harder to cut up. Okay, so there we are. The buffalo on the right pork and fat on the left and then here's my chemical supply and these are the seasonings that I'm going to put in here so I'm going to mix the meat up and then I'll mix up my seasonings and uh, we'll get to go so anyway got all 10 I started with 10 and I still got 10 here we go Okay, first thing, salt. Do not skimp on the salt. And I don't use, don't use any of that Lowry's seasoned salt or whatever. Um, or at least I don't. So you got any salt and pepper. And I like this ground black pepper. A brand new can. Okay. Um, black pepper, you got fine grind and you got this rougher grind. I don't think it makes any difference. At least I never. Now, you're going to ask me about mixes, and uh, it's called a season to taste. I've been doing this so long that I know how much I need to have to make it taste the way I want it for that much meat. I try to make the same kind of amount of meat each time, and then... Got your Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna put that in there because it's empty. And then I have some minced garlic I like to throw in there too. Okay, and then where's it at? The secret to Italian sausage is fennel. And uh, don't put too much in it. 
Put your fennel seeds in there. And that'll give it a little bit of an Italian sausage flavor. And then, depending on how hot you want it, a little bit of cayenne. And I don't put a lot. I like making my sausage for sauce and I make it mild. And so, Put a little bit in, so it gets just a little bit of the flavor. And then mix it up. This also needs to be mixed really, really well. One thing I'll do too, after I grind a little bit of it, I'll throw it in a pan and test it. And I can put a little more in there if I need it, or usually I don't, I, I mix it shy, so I can always put more, because it's hard to take it out once you mix it up in here. So, I'll let that sit for a while, have a cup of coffee, and you can see, I like to make sure that every piece has a little bit of seasoning on it, and you can see every piece has got seasoning on it, and I mixed it up. If you're in doubt, spend a little time mixing it. There you are. I like this because the grinder does most of the work. <laughs> Casing comes really heavily salted. It's got to be washed out. The salt's got to be washed out of it. I've got more casing. I just have to. If I run out here, I'm gonna. Okay. Now I'm ready to squeeze out another. When you turn it to the left. That way it doesn't undo the one you just did. For what I make, I like putting them in four, tied together in four, and uh, I make a pot of sauce, I usually put about four, four links in for us. another four. Alright, go get you another cup of coffee and I'll finish this up. Well, anyway, that's about, I bet that's 12, 15, 12, 14 pounds anyway. When I, I weighed them out, uh, I weighed the meat out before I started of each. So, anyway, that's how, that's me making sausage. I got, there's some other stuff on, on this uh, deal here, on this uh, card, and I'll just go ahead and play it at the end of this video. It's just some shooting shotgun and, and, and black powder, black powder, cap lock shotgun and stuff. So this gun, the front trigger shoots the right barrel, the rear trigger shoots the left barrel, 
and uh, I think this one here is a it has the second barrel will be a full choke the first one would be a uh, modified one thing that I do with my cap guns as you'll see right here is I have this little it's a little uh, 22 shell and I've cut it down so it fits right over the cap and I can lower the hammer on it I don't have a cap in here right now but it'll fit right over the cap and I can lower the hammer on it and it's kind of a safety the other thing is I don't reload my shotgun until both barrels are empty so the beauty of the double is to get two shots off um, you can this is old cowboy trick cock both barrels at one time okay so now I'm going to shoot this thing and see if I can hit the bird. I'll probably miss it, but let's give it a try. I can't believe I did that on the first shot. Anyway, I hope you had a good cup of coffee. This is what I did this morning. I'm done with this now. I do have about another 10 pounds of uh, elk meat that I want to make. But uh, this was enough for one morning. Anyway, you guys have a great day. See you again. Thanks for stopping by. Bye now.